Beloved, as we enter this week of Christmas and celebrate the birth of Jesus, I want to just remind us as a church family of just how God has been so gracious to us as a people, so faithful to us, and the one who loves us with an everlasting love. You know, there are so many stressors and challenges that so many are facing, and not just in our house, but the people I talk to all around the country and some overseas, it's just been a season of many sorrows, many heartaches, many struggles, many challenges and afflictions. And there aren't always answers for everything. And I know as Pentecostals, we want answers for everything. And sometimes we just have to remember the most powerful thing we can. For unto us, a child has been born. Unto us, a son has been given. And the government rests, rests on his shoulders. The child had to be born in the womb of Mary. The son who is eternal could not be born because he's timeless. Forever and ever he's the same. The son had to be given in the flesh of the child that had to be born, the God-man. Just that thought alone that the divine one became fully human is mind-boggling enough. But he became human and gave himself for us and as us when he gave himself to us. God gave us himself. What a gift. God gave us himself all the way to death at the cross. And he didn't stop there. He went all the way to hell, emptied it out, led captivity captive, ascended on high, sat down at the place of utmost favor at the height of the universe and seated us with him in the presence of his Father, who is our home. Poured out his Spirit so that we could be the Pentecostals that we are. And gives us the awareness that he's ruling the nations now in spite of the chaos, in spite of the upheavals, in spite of the challenges. We can rest assured that the government rests on his shoulders. We're in good hands with Jesus. We're in good hands. The Father has two hands, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And we are being upheld in those everlasting arms of love, never to be forsaken, never to be humiliated, never to be put to shame. Oh, the devil can try to work overtime to do all of that. But God is our refuge and strength. Abundantly available for help, even in the tightest of places. God will make all the striving to cease. And God will show himself strong on our behalf. I pray that you and your loved ones would have a most blessed and peaceful, reassuring, comforting Christmas, overshadowed by the abiding presence of the one who is with us, for us, in us, and will never leave us or forsake us. From our house to your house, have a blessed and Merry Christmas. We love you.